What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to pull specific columns from one sheet to another within the same workbook. So let's get right into it. Alright, so we uh, have some data over here on the right side and what we want to do is pull specific columns of this data to another workbook or another worksheet automatically. So let's go ahead and pull city latitude longitude and population so I'll just go ahead and copy and paste and we're gonna make it so that it's dynamic so that whatever we put as the headers on sheet 2 will automatically get pulled from sheet 1 so that it could be any set of uh, headers we, that we want so we'll start off with this here city latitude longitude population and then for our sub we can call it pool columns over and we'll declare our variables let's see um, we'll get a count of the headers here on sheet 2 so we'll do a head count as integer we'll also have to count the rows and the columns on sheet one so we'll do a row count as integer column count as integer we're gonna have a i variable as integer and a j variable and then we're also going to um, declare our worksheet so we'll just call this worksheet worksheet one and then this worksheet will be worksheet two all right so we'll set worksheet one equal to this workbook sheets and then the name of the sheet is sheet one but it could be anything like I could just change this to like raw data or something like that I'll change that here and then we'll set worksheet 2 equal to this workbook sheets and then sheet 2 all right, so now what we'll do first is we'll go ahead and activate sheet two. So we'll activate this sheet and then count the number of headers. So in order to do that, we'll just go ahead and activate it and then have our head count equal to worksheet function, count a range, and we're going to start at A1 so cell A1 and we're going to count over to the right so end and then XL to right and then we've got that count and then we'll go back over to our raw data tab so we're going to activate worksheet 1 and Let's go ahead and copy this. So the head count will be, well, the row count, sorry, the column count will be equal to the same thing. It'll also be XL to the right of this sheet. And then our row count counting down is going to be oops similar except we're going down so XL down all right so you've got our head count column count row count so now we're going to use a for loop so for I equals one to head count 
So while i equals 1, 2, in this case, would be 4, head count, number, head count is equal to 4 at this point. And then we're going to do next i at the end of the loop. So inside of the loop, we're going to set j equal to 1. And then we're going to use a do while loop inside of the for loop. So do while j is less than or equal to the column count, which is determined by this sheet. And then we'll do a loop. So we've got a do while loop inside of a for loop here. And what we're going to do is while j is less than the column count, we're going to check to see if, so we're going to have an if statement. So if worksheet two, so if this sheet here, and we want to check for this cell first. So if cells one, i, so that's based on this variable here. So we're going to start off at 1i, and 1 is going to be static because we're only going across. Um, and then the i is what's going to be changing. So if this cell is equal to worksheet 1 cells, so back to this sheet, if that's equal to anything in this row, in this column, sorry, in this row, going across the column, so we're going to do 1j and we want the text in that cell, then, and we'll end our if, then we're gonna say worksheet one, range, so we want an entire range, and it's gonna be cells one J, where we, where we started, right? So say we're, we're, we're checking for this header on this, this sheet, so in this case, we'll, we'll catch them on, on the first iteration, right? On the first loop. So if we find a match, we'll do cells and then cells going all the way down. So one over J, so one, one in this case, and then it's gonna be row count because we're gonna go all the way down to the last row and then J. So we're gonna grab the entire column in this case. So we're gonna copy that entire column should be a comma right there, sorry about that. We're gonna copy that entire column and then with worksheet two, we're gonna paste in that cell that we matched. So we'll go ahead and do a paste special and we'll just paste the values. All right, and then we'll do application, cut copy mode, make that equal to false. Save our resources, and then J. So when we do find a match for this first header, we don't wanna keep going through the loop. We wanna just exit out of it immediately. So we'll just set J equal to column count, just so that it'll exit this loop. And what we also have to do for this loop, otherwise we'll be in an infinite loop, is that we have to iterate J. We have to increase J each time. So we'll do that right here. So at the bottom, so J equals J plus one. Cool, so let's see if this works. Let's go ahead and run it. And you see it worked. Um, a little formatting tweak so you saw that worksheet, the first sheet was activated at uh, last, so that's where the macro ends. So let's make it so that the macro ends with worksheet two, and then let's also select like cell A1, just so we don't have this whole column selected. So what we'll just do at the very end is just with worksheet two, we will activate it, and then we'll also select cells one one so the very first cell we'll just select that as well and then we can end our width here all right so let's go ahead and take the off this header 
and clear this up and let's run it again boom pretty simple and um, yeah let's go ahead and run it a few more times let's grab these headers here copy paste and even if I start the macro on this sheet it'll still end on the second sheet see that boom pretty simple really quick so it's dynamic in the sense that you can have you can choose whichever headers you want and it will automatically adjust because we're counting the number of headers we're counting the number of rows in the columns there you go pretty cool stuff so uh, yeah there it is thank you so much for watching make sure to like comment subscribe have a good one